Mike, 518 Mobile RV Repair. Another week here at the shop. Uh, this week we got lined up a park model for you that's got to get a rear tin job done, some damage on the siding, uh, also some maintenance for it to get ready for the spring as well, and a few little odds and ends we got to get into on that. Uh, it is snowing in the beautiful North Country here today, so we're going to also get out and get some material list together. Jobs that have been sitting here, we got this wild cat, we've got to get a material list together and send over to the customer uh, for a full roof job on that. A slide out job that needs to be done, slide out floor needs to be replaced in this as well. So uh, between clean here, getting everything up and going, we've got a list of things to get taken care of and sent out to customers. Uh, so stay tuned for the week. Thanks for watching. All right, next up in the shop, we've got this park model. A few things to do on this. We've got a hot water cover. Got to get put on here. It is suburban. And what's happened is the retainers at the bottom have broke off. We're going to put a new trim ring on, new door onto this. On the back side, a little tree incident going on up here. It's poked a hole. We're going to replace the top of this tin. Basically, we're going to remove the whole back here of the tin since it is the top piece. It's an S channel tin, so we got to start from the bottom, move up to the top. We're going to replace that tin and check back in on this as we're going. All right, back on the park model here. We've got all the rear tin off. Luckily, no water damage from where the stick went through. Got just a little bit of interior wall damage. Luckily it goes into a closet so we'll be able to seam tape that back up for them and not have to put an entire panel in there. Uh, we've got the new metal all cut down to size. Holes put in. Getting ready to put it back on. Alright, working on this park model we're doing the back wall on here. Uh, another problem the customer was having was the AC was running, but the heat wasn't running. Uh, they tried switching out a thermostat, still had the same issue. Actually, the new thermostat wouldn't even work because, well, it was the wrong one Dometic had sent them. So, um, what we got here is an older style Dometic digital thermostat. Now, this is actually run to a control box inside of the air conditioner here. As you can see, we're doing some testing as well. And what we have found is that we have some wiring problems inside of here basically some loose connections that needed to be cleaned up uh, the AC is up and running that's the uh, compressor amperage that's coming off from there so we know the compressor is working good on this unit and that the thermostat is communicating with both the AC and the heat functions at this point so cleaning up some connections and get this going for camping season next year we'll check back in on the rear wall and some additional sealant stuff that we're doing as well all right here we are the park model the rear is all finished up and sealed in boy's been working hard on this now you're probably asking yourself or saying that tin does not match and you're absolutely correct it is different tin it's white that's what the customer chose to go with on this one uh, the factory with this Pattern does not make this any longer in that color, so instead of trying to color match, we're just going to throw white on there. And as you can see, some of the camper also has white on it as well. So it turned out really well. Everything's all sealed up. The new water heater door assembly is on. And while it's in here, we're going to do some maintenance on this as well. I'll show you around on that. All right, we're up top on the park model here. As you can see, all the roof vet covers are off. Now that's because the covers were all cracked and dried. We're gonna put some brand new ones on, some thick poly ones for the customer that'll last quite a long time. And we're also gonna upgrade some max air covers for them as well. Uh, we did find a small hole or tear in the roof underneath here. Uh, we've put a special roof patch on here and we've also sealed this in now so that no water can penetrate that. Now, if you look at the front lap sealant here, uh, you can see that it, it is dirty. Uh, there are some divots and cracks inside of here that we're gonna take care of. Uh, and there's some other ones as well. We'll show you a little bit more in the back here on the skylight. It's really exaggerated so you can see what's going on. So when we talk about roof maintenance, we talk about this type of stuff here. It's all cracking. This could allow water to go inside of this lap sealant it could get underneath the primary sealant, which could be a butyl 
or a skylight sealant and then seep into the roof. Now that could be anywhere that you could find lap sealant on these campers. Uh, so what this is going to get is a rubber roof cleaning. It's going to get uh, lap sealant all around and then it's going to get UV treated as well to protect the sun uh, on this TPO style roof for this unit. So this is going to get some maintenance, slide out maintenance as well, cleaning up the seals, lubricating the seals, lubricating the tracks. Now everything works flawless in the spring when camping season is here. So uh, maintenance while it's in the garage, we'll check back in on this as well. All right, here we are on the park model. The roof maintenance has all been done. It's been washed down with some rubber roof cleaner. Lap sealants all been taken care of. Uh, everything's been spot sealed. If it needed a full reseal, it's been resealed all the way through. Three new covers have been put on this. Uh, the vent covers and the max air covers as well. So the customer upgraded those. Uh, so everything's good to go with that. Also the side seams on this unit have been done as well. All the way down the unit. It's got slide out maintenance that's been completed on this. A couple of small interior repairs. And of course that thermostat we we're looking at as well. So the park model, it's ready for camping season 2024. Moving on to the next. All right, that's a wrap for this week at the shop, 518 Mobile RV Repair. Uh, next week, got a, quite a bit going on. We got a slide out floor we're gonna get replaced in a wolf pack. We've got some vendor shows we gotta go to, get some new products and get some stuff stocked up for you guys for 2024 season. Uh, check this out here on this wolf pack. The slide out floor is rotted underneath here, as you can see, push right up in here. So we're gonna take this all apart, get the slide out floor, replace that. Also gonna do a seal tech test on it as well and see where else we've got some leaks, see where the leak originated from on this. So uh, like our page, subscribe to our YouTube page, and we'll catch you guys next week.